Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. I wanted to bring up a subject uh, about uh, confiscation could be next. Sure, confiscation is a real, of guns is a real, real possible thing. Uh, bottom line. I could have gotten 51 votes in the Senate of the United States for an outright ban, picking up every one of them. M Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. I would have done it. And registration, then confiscation. Bottom line, they've done it in other countries, they can do it here. In either some towns, I think they've done it in some states, they've had this uh, turning your guns and stuff. So it can happen. It, it, you know, uh, if you get enough of the senators and the special interest groups that are giving out money to these uh, political uh, entities, it can happen. You know, um, there was actually, I guess, an email that was sent to uh, uh, members on Thursday, the head of the NRA actually Institute for Legislative Action, NRA, ILA, uh, was warning about pl uh, politicians in Washington, D.C. are closing in uh, for your right to keep and bear arms. Frequency of mass shootings that far exceeds other countries in frequency. And although it is my strong belief that for us to get our complete arms around the problem, Congress needs to act. Uh, what I asked my team to do is to see what more we could do. Um, you know, as far as uh, President uh, Barack Obama and the anti-gun politicians uh, are out. Conclusion, I still remain worried about what this final treaty might look like. But when the U.S. had a chance to speak at the U.N., they declined, and instead they handed out a statement. And in that statement it said that our Second Amendment, our right to self-defense, will in no way be handicapped. Handicapped? Is that a word you would have used to say hands off when it comes to our firearm freedoms? No, absolutely not. Look, what they're trying to do is allow this to happen below the radar screen uh, without people paying attention. So they're not going to get up on their soapbox to argue for the end result that they really want. They're going to allow it to come about by indirection and hope that the press are not watching so that then they can take the treaty to the Senate uh, without a record about what its implications would be for Second Amendment rights. Michael's another bullet you got to press. So every time you press one trigger pull, a bullet comes. That's semi-automatic. Now, that's all of the guns that are semi-automatic, unless it's a single shot. And then you got to cock the hammer back and press the trigger. So uh, an assault weapon, okay, so I'm just trying to get, get this straight that you guys know what's going on. For the anti-gunners, the gunners know this, um, a... Assault weapon is a militarized type of semi-automatic gun. So if I took a shotgun, a Remington, I think, 870, which is an automatic shotgun or semi-automatic shotgun, which holds about 10 or 10 slugs or something, you can use them for deer hunting, and you go out and press the trigger, it fires once, and then you got to press the trigger again. You can't press the trigger twice. Because you, once you press it, it's, it's not fast enough. You can't just hold it down. So uh, you have to be pretty fast. So you press it once, a bullet comes out. Press it again, a bullet comes out. Press it until you go 10 times. And then it's empty and you need to reload it. Now, that's a semi-automatic gun. Take that Remington 80. Put uh, a sling on it, a camo sling. Put some camouflage on it. Uh, maybe you're going to change the foregrip to like a handle and uh, put a little ribbing on, on top of it. Now it's an assault shotgun or assault weapon. Same gun, semi-automatic, one bullet at a time, but it looks different. So it's just like taking a Volkswagen and putting flames on it, rims, uh, real fancy, make it look like a race car, and say you got a race car now. Race and justice in America. Just like we got to come the terms with hard truths about guns in America. And ban the race cars. Same gun, I mean, same car, still that Volkswagen, but now it's a race car, so we're banning race cars, which it really isn't. It looks like one. So, you know, uh, machine guns have been banned uh, since the uh, NFA Act. Of They've been banned for... Uh, purchased by individuals, and they've just gone up in price. You could still own them in some states. It's just now $10,000 instead of $300. So you just actually increase the price of something. So banning uh, the semi-automatics, there's a whole class of guns 
that could be considered assault guns. And then the next, what about the pistols? You know, there's pistols that do the same thing. And they're not automatic pistols, they're semi-automatic pistols. There's some that are tactical, which is more like, uh, you know, designed, you know, they have different sights on them, different color, you know, different, you know, different design and stuff. And that, it makes it look meaner, but it's the same gun, it'll do the same job. So, you know, uh, they want to ban, you know, that would ban millions of rifles, shotguns, and handguns. You know, it would make it difficult and very expensive, in some cases illegal, to purchase ammunition for them. Uh, the director, Chris Cox, wrote in the email, some are even talking about mandatory gun confiscation and buyback programs. And that's even, that's even worse. So, you know, we see this, what they want to do, but, you know, uh, it's, it's just ridiculous. Uh, and more and more, the uh, government's trying to do this. So we have to really stand by our laurels and vote and be proactive and find out what's going on because uh, President uh, Barack Obama's anti-gun politicians are all out for these crusades to pass these legs. You know, and I've seen, I mean, they just had a 2016 ban that failed that was instituted by some congressmen or some senators or whatever. And Obama tried to have a ban, and Feinstein tried to have a, a ban. So who says they're not trying to get rid of them? Uh, they may even force you to register your guns. So, you know, we really need to be vigilant and join the NRA and be proactive in this. And this election is going to mean a lot.